Hi, thank you for being with me for a few minutes. I want to inspire you to read my new book, Courage. And I thought I'd read you one of the last codes, The Code of Supreme Beauty. It was December 1972. After flashing my fake ID, I slid into the hippest club in New York City. The music was blasting as my friends and, and I stepped onto the dance floor to revel in the number one song. I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore, and I know too much to go back and pretend, because I've heard it all before, and I've been down there on the floor, no one's ever going to keep me down again. Oh yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Yes, I paid the price, but look how much I gained. If I have to, I can do anything. I am strong, strong. I'm invincible, invincible. I am woman. I could feel my body filling up with power, strength, and excitement. The thrill of each and every word vibrated through my body. All around, hundreds of people were dancing and women were singing at the top of their lungs. I am a woman, hear me roar. I was thinking, yes, yes, yes. I felt so great that night. I was wearing one of my favorite outfits, purple spandex pants, a strapless sequined multicolored top, and strapless sandals covered in rhinestones. I promise you it was in style at the time. I spent hours that day in a salon turning my long straight hair into the latest style of permed hair. My skin was dark brown from the sun and I was a Diana Ross lookalike. Now singing along with Helen Reddy, I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. I felt absolutely on top of the world. And courage is designed to have you feel on top of the world, to take back your power, to reclaim your right, to be everything you ever desired to be, to find a step-by-step -step process as you go through the codes to return you to your magnificence, to your holiness, to your courageous warrior within. So join me and read Courage and join our women's revolution around the world.